agus a chardia, fellow delegates and friends, overstretched frontline service providers, overcrowded hospital wards, corridors and emergency departments, avoidable, adverse and sometimes tragic outcomes. We read and hear news reports of all these symptoms of a health service in crisis, if not daily, then certainly on a weekly and I believe more frequent basis. The news we all await, of course, is what the Minister for Health and his department are going to do about it. But there is no news from James Riley. Just more of the stumbling from crisis to crisis, citing his little statistics ditty and buzz lines. Meanwhile, people are suffering and patients are dying unnecessarily. One eminently practical step that Minister Riley could and should take is to again employ our smaller local hospitals in a more gainful and critical role in the overall service provision of our network of hospital sites. Meanwhile, Minister Riley has recently, and not for the first time, exasperated the elected representatives and people of County Monaghan through correspondence he has sent to Monaghan County Council regarding the future of services at Monaghan General Hospital. His closing two lines sum it up. Any future development of services at Monaghan General Hospital will be in the context of the new hospital groups and as such I cannot comment on this matter at this time. I trust that this clarifies the matter for you, concluded Minister Riley. The one thing that this useless communication has clarified is that Minister Riley is a buffoon and just and he is just about as useful as what he writes. I call on him to step down and get lost. We need... We need a health minister who is prepared to face the real challenges of our health services today. We need our, ho our smaller hospitals to be reactivated to their full potential. Iramarov, Takiak the Horch, the Rune, Adohena 3. I urge your support for motion number 213. Guramayagav.